Hi Trade, it's Roberto here. It's been quite a while since I sent out a video. and This is going to be a short video on support and resistance. Best places to take trades and I'll explain why. What we're looking is a one hour chart and this is the Euro New Zealand dollar. And I just want to show you how you can find the best trades, the highest probability trade setups simply by using a stochastics indicator and price action. Okay, so the f I'm currently in a trade now where the support level for the past one, two, three, four days was around that 153.30 level. Stochastics is oversold. Now, I've played around with different um, settings and this stochastics indicator is 533. You can also use a uh, stochastics indicator of 1433. And I'll, I'll show you an example of that. But what needs to happen is two things. Price needs to be at a previous support level. And stochastics indicator needs to be oversold. Then I wait for the two lines on the stochastics indicator to start crossing over. And that's my my alert to enter a trade. So I took that trade and the exit would be actually right now this is a level of resistance that used to be support so I would be exiting this trade around that level. Now the other thing is that this trade was taken at the London close so that's three reasons. The market sold off throughout the European and part of the New York session then around 11 o'clock 12 noon Eastern the market found support at a previous support level stochastics oversold and as a time of entry. I'm going to show you a couple of more uh, strategies a couple more examples just simply by using stochastics and price action. Remember always look for previous support or resistance level here was another trade where price went all the way up to a previous support or uh, resistance. Stochastics was overbought. And that was the trade that was taken from the opening of um, the New York, or actually the European session on Monday. Here's another trade set up here and here. Here are support levels. So basically, those what I find the best trades to take. You know where your stop loss is. If a candle closes below the support, then of course you need to exit that trade. Or if it closes above the resistance level, then you would exit that trade as well. Here is another example on the year on the pound dollar. Stochastics oversold on the one hour chart. Price bouncing off a previous support level. And remember, we also always take a counter trend trade on Monday if the market had been selling off the previous week, which it had. Notice on last week, here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Monday is that s Sunday to Monday retracement. Price bounced off a previous support. That's your entry. I had taken this trade but I exited before it even got to the resistance level which is right there. And here's another example on US the uh, EuroCAD. Stochastics overbought and price hitting a previous resistance level. And this occurred uh, around the European session. Previous resistance, stochastics overbought you enter a trade that 146.73 level in price just went down from there over 38 pips so far also notice that the week before last week market was in an uptrend and Mondays are usually retracement days so there you have it have any questions please feel free to uh, email me I will be sending um, another video on binary options you can also use this strategy for binary options. Mondays are excellent days for retracement so 
you could have taken this trade with an expiry date about 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern if you were able to capture this trade during the European or even early morning, 6 o'clock in the morning Eastern. Okay, thanks for watching and have, hope everyone has a good week trading.